Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm. Here we are on our second article with our network transition project. This one is VLANs and ports. So we've got our network over here. We uh, this little review from the last bunch of slides. And there's the new router with the new link. Nobody's going through that on port one. And this is the existing router that is being used on port nine. So on the next slide, we have our proposed network and you can see that not much really changed over here but port 1 is going to go to 47 and 9 is going to go to 48 and we can't make too many changes at once this is a live network and it's remote so we can't afford to make wholesale changes and cause problems or outages right so we're just going to move two ports we're going to enable routing on the switch and we're going to add a new VLAN that the routers will use later we are going to give the VLAN an IP address though just so it's there since we're adding a VLAN and that's more than enough changes to make it one time for this one site. So the goals of the changes, well, as I said, uh, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff but we're also going to configure port fast on the new switch ports so that way when they do move the ports of the production router we don't have a, a longer outage than we need to have. And as I said, we're going to move router ports 1 and 9 to 47 and 48 respectively. And then we're going to remove port fast from the old switch ports because I don't like having them on those ports unless we really need them. We're going to enable routing on that switch. And as I said, we're creating VLAN 30 with an IP address. The testing methodology is quite simple. We're going to ping the two routers from a network management computer and we're going to ensure the pings are successful before and after the move and honestly probably during as well because it'll just be a continuous ping. We're going to clear the log and interface counters to make sure nothing funky happens after the change or during the change and we're going to advise the staff when the port move is scheduled so that way they can ignore any management alerts. We're going to check the port stats to ensure there are no errors or interface resets. And then lastly, we're going to check internet access from the network management computer after the change to verify internet connectivity. Again, there's a 99% chance nothing could go wrong, but still, I'd like to cover your bases. So the port verification, there's many, there's way too many ways to do this. So this is just the one way that I did it because it's consistent across all Cisco IOSs. Uh, we use ping, show ARP, and show MAC address to verify the port assignments. So you can see I ping one router 252, I ping 251. Now those MAC addresses are in the cache, show the ARP cache. And I use the uh, pipe or bar include and then the IP with just two five. I didn't put the one or the two just to get them all out there and that way it saves me typing a little bit. From that we can just do show MAC address include 66 C0, that's Charlie 0, and that would be the 252, and it tells me he is on 48, and then AC80 is on 47. So now I know they did get moved over, they are there. And one reported issue was the technician checked the status of the new VLAN and said, hey, the VLAN says it's up, but the line protocol is down. And then I simply explained that until we assign an active port to that VLAN, that's exactly what it's going to say. So not a big deal. All in all, went very smooth very quick and no problemos thanks for watching and the next one should be even more interesting have a good day bye for now